Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. And yesterday I made a video about the LG G5 questioning the materials that this device is made of. Some of you guys probably saw the video by Jerry Rig Everything where he scratched the backing and was able to get through quite a thick layer of what looked like plastic to aluminum beneath it, which led a lot of people to believe, and even myself to believe, that this is plastic coated on top, not actually touching metal. And that has frustrated a lot of people because LG has let on that this is an all metal body. And it also made sense to me that this would be plastic covered on top because I've got some weird looking seams here. There's a seam here, there's a seam here. There's a weird one that's going down the side here depending on the lighting when I turn it right there. And then it's buckling a little bit here at the bottom. And that build quality looked quite cheap to me. So that led me to have a lot of questions and I am someone who is very much for the consumer. I want to be able to tell the truth and reveal things to the consumer. I'm very careful not to be under the thumb of anyone so that I can remain as objective and truthful as possible, especially when marketing comes into a factor. But I have heard back from LG about what's really going on with this, at least somewhat, because it seems that there are some trade secrets with the design of this device. They don't want to reveal everything from what I can understand written on the Verge's article. I did get a chance to look at a prototype from the Verge's article, which shed some light on this as well. But let's look to see what Ken from LG has said so that we can understand a little bit more. And I have to thank him for coming forward and saying that. So let's look to see what Ken Hong of LG had to say. And I've annotated some of my things in here to give my thoughts along the way. There's a lot here, so I'm just going to read it to you. He wrote on Zach's video, Jerry Rig Everything. Hey, this is Ken Hong from LG. What you're seeing there is primer, not a plastic cover. As you know, primer is used to get paint to bond to aluminum, which is what we used for the G5's body. The aluminum alloy we sourced is known as LM201B patent pending and was developed at the Korea Institute of Industrial Technology for use in automobiles and aircraft. LM201B, unlike aluminum used in other smartphones, is die cast unibody. So I've added an annotation what that means. Molded, not machined from one piece of aluminum. So that's something people assume already is that all smartphones need to be one machined piece, so LG has done something different. That's fine. So he says, which makes it very sturdy while still maintaining lightweight properties. That is all well and good. We figured out a way to integrate the antenna bands into the aluminum seamlessly so you can't feel the lines. And that's where I've had a problem because obviously what I've noticed and what's been a problem with build quality for me is I do see those, those lines. Those are the antennas that I'm seeing. So no LG, it is not entirely seamless. It looks like there are batch variations. And they say, and they've covered the LM201B with primer and paint. So this is primer and paint that's on top of the aluminum. Using a process called microdizing, which means that tiny particles of metal are infused in the coating and bonded to the aluminum. So you're not touching the aluminum of the phone, obviously. This is a very thick layer of paint that's meant to hide these antennas and it's not on mine. And what we are touching are the tiny particles of metal that's been infused into this coating. My beef with that though, is that they've quoted in their own press release that you are touching a metal surface. And that's marketing that feels a bit misleading to me, honestly. I don't care what this is made of and how it's done. It's all about the marketing language. He says, I think it's incorrect to say that a product isn't all metal if paint is involved. So yes, of course he's admitting that there's paint on the top. That's like saying cars and airplanes aren't metal because they're also painted. Then he says, for the record, even metal that's anodized will scratch off. And that's true, but anodization isn't paint. It's an oxidation process that makes aluminum wear resistant and also allows you to add dye to color the metal in the process. So it's not the same process. And he admits it's a different process. He says, our process may be different, but it achieved what we were aiming for, which is a smooth, seamless metal finish that's durable and lightweight. We weren't interested in doing what has already been done. When did this become a bad thing? It's not, it's just when wording is misleading, you guys. All we have ever claimed is that the G5 features a metal unibody, nothing more, nothing less. And if you go and look at their own article, they say a smooth, colorful metal surface through an advanced microdizing process, which takes anodized aluminum to a whole new level. But what does that process entail? It leads people to think that it's an anodized aluminum body instead of a paint. And he did answer me, coated with primer paint and clear coat using what we call microdizing process, microdizing. So it's not plastic, you guys, but it's still a coating and a pretty thick one at that. 
and the metal that we are touching is underneath. I don't care how this was built or how it was made, but I am very quick to point out marketing and when it feels misleading to me. I wasn't trying to mislead anyone. I am a consumer. I bought this phone. I purchased it for over $700 after tax, and it shouldn't look like this, especially when they are saying that it's supposed to be seamless. So it all seems to be marketing language to me. I did see a prototype from The Verge, and there is a line here and a line here, and this is where the antennas are, and it seems to go around the body here, at least in the prototype. I can't say if that's what this is like now. But they tried to cover it, and it just didn't cover so well. So fine, all well and good. So thank you, LG, for clarifying that. It still doesn't explain what this plasticky part is. It's die cast and for all I know, injected molded with plastic as well, but they don't admit that. Although this looks like plastic, feels like plastic, scratches like plastic. If I hear anything else, I'll probably just talk about this in the full review. So that is what I have to say for now. Thank you, LG, for coming forward and explaining a little bit of what is going on. It's a misunderstanding for consumers and for myself because we're told that this is a metal surface and they call it microdizing, which they're explaining is kind of like anodizing or they make it look like that, but it's not. It's a very thick coating of paint, not plastic. That's all I have to say for now. I will give this the full in-depth review experience. My review will be very fair, you guys. So thank you everybody for watching. This has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. At least now people will know why this feels kind of hollow and plasticky. It's not machined like other phones. It's die casted and for all I know, plastic molded in places where the antennas are. I, like I said before, I won't really know unless I put this in the fire and see what burns off to see what is actually metal and what's not. I hope somebody does that because I don't think I'm going to get a chance to do that. So thank you everyone and goodbye.